The next action I want to show you is the global automation override. Now, as you know, to change automation modes on our tracks, we can go over here and right click and change them from here. It starts out as trim read. We could put it in right or touch or latch right from here. We could also put it on multiple tracks or all the tracks by selecting them and doing it from here as well. And they all change to that automation mode. We could do it in the mixer as well. Here's our tracks. Right click over here for touch mode or right mode. We'll do them all together for read or latch. We could also do this globally for all the tracks at once. If we go down here, see it says global off. We could change it right here to any automation mode we want for all the tracks in our project. So we could change them all to write. They all go to write mode or touch or latch or back to trim read. We'll put it back to no global override. So we set the automation modes on a per track basis. But if you've already written automation, you could bypass all the envelopes from here. And this shows up looking like this, letting us know that our automation isn't gonna play back. Or we could turn it back on just by putting it back to no global override. And if we do have automation, we could also show all the active envelopes right here. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!